Okay, so in this new tutorial, we're going to be working on the smallest details in our scene. By the way, this is a tutorial series that's going to help you make this short film animation based on a real reference, this Japanese street. All right, so let's get down to it. So I'd like to work on these sewage caps that we're having over here. So let's get to work. First, I'm going to plug these components that we're having uh, in our reference. So Z, switch to the wireframe. And also, I want you to make sure that you are putting this cursor right over here. So Shift S, cursor to select it. Shift A, I'm going to start with the mesh. It's going to be a cylinder shape. Okay, so let's go back, hit zero, and let's scale it way down. Also scale on the Z axis, make it flat like this. Okay, so let's move it over here. GX, GX, and let's move it like that. Also, let's scale it way down. There we go. So now we, as you can see, we fit our uh, sewage cap in our reference. Okay, so now let's work on it separately. So for this type over here, I'd like to make something that looks like this. So we're going to be following this reference. So let me bring it first. I'm going to, uh, yeah, let's make some room over here. I don't want to lose my main reference. Let's drag this one up like this, this one also up. And let's bring that sewage cap reference over here. There we go. So now let's work on it. So as you can see, we need to create these kind of insets, cubic insets over here. And after that, uh, so basically this is the, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating a cut like this and we're going to be using the mirror modifier so that we can duplicate it four times. Okay, so let's get to work. I'm going to select the top part over here, hit E and scale it down. So we extrude that top face to create this first uh, chip over here. And after that, let's hit E, extrude it up just a little bit vertically. After that, hit E and scale down like this. And let's hit E and go down. All right, so we created this second inset. And now we can hit E and go all the way inside like this, just so that we can create this uh, final inset like this. Okay, so this is our main shape. And after that, what I'd like to do is to insert some edge loops. So over here, we have one, two, three. So let's insert three edge loops like this. And we can bevel them. So hit Control B. Let's bevel them like this. Okay, we can also scale them. Scale. All right, so now all we have to do is to uh, select just every other one. But before doing that, as I said, I would like to use the mirror modifier just so that we can make our task quick. So let's box select everything over here, X delete. But also I want you to switch the wireframe so that we can be able to select everything. There we go, hit X and remove those vertices. Same thing over here for the bottom, let's do this. Hit X and remove those vertices. So I'm going to select the, the, the rest using the L key and hit X and delete those vertices. So now we're having this, uh, this uh, curvature of our object. So make sure that the center is right over here because we're going to be making some duplicates using our mirror modifier. So go to this add modifiers and it's going to be the mirror modifier. Where is it? This one over here. There we go. So we're having it on the X axis. Also, I'm going to be checking this one on the Y axis so that we can continue this loop. So now it's going to be really easy. So all we have to do is to select these from here. Like this. Also, as you can see, we, we've done our math wrong. So basically, we need to add a add new cut over here, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Okay, so let's try the other way. Select these. I think over here. No, actually, it's, it's almost going to work. So let's just extrude these up like this. And basically that's it. So this is our first step. So now what we need to do is to add uh, these details. So I'm going to add uh, the subdivision modifier to it from here. And also let's go to object, shade smooth. Let me check my middle point. I think over here we're having some problem on the middle. Why this one is not connected? Yeah, basically what we need to do is to hit alt, select these. Let me go to the top. And we can hit E and scale like this. And let's take it to the middle. Also, make sure that you are uh, using the, the clipping or the clamp. Clipping, yeah, the clipping over here. Check it so that you can stop right on, on the middle. But before that, make sure to insert an edge loop because we're going to be needing it later on. So after that, let me hit Alt, select all of these, and let's take them to the top like this. Also, I'm going to be selecting all these points, hit S0 to collapse them on uh, one each another. So basically what we need to do is to remove some faces. Let me show you that. So over here on the wireframe, you can see that these faces, they, they do exist. 
it's gonna be some it's gonna be causing us some problems so what i would like to do is to go to the top his b to box select and let's box select just these faces on the on the side like these so let me go back to my solid view i would like to deselect this one so shift and click to deselect that one and hit x and remove those faces nice so now we're having a nice edge also over here let's take these hit double g to slide them yeah there we go problem is solved also in order to avoid this clipping over here you can always go back to the view and reduce this start clipping value to one tenth of it like this okay so now what i'd like to do is to insert some edge loops just so that we can sharpen these uh these objects over here so we can do this from here insert edge loop vertically like this and also over here let's start inserting these edge loops good also over here let's try this nice so now as you can see we start having some nice shapes of these stowage also for this one let's make it smooth so control uh, control r and let's bring it forward there we go so this is our first sewage cap so what i'd like to do now is to duplicate it all over our uh, our scene so basically i'm gonna just duplicate three times one over here one over here and one on the back so let's do that hit zero and let's switch to our camera view wireframe so shift d hit gx let's go all the way to the end like this move it to the uh, right side and let me scale it down like this after that let me take this one shift d move it over here gx scale it way down until it fits our reference okay so we got this so now for for the other type of uh, sewage cap so shift a search for mesh it's gonna be cube scale it down like this scale on the z-axis 0.1 gx let's move it to the side like this scale on the y-axis also let's scale it on the z-axis so scale z 0.1 i think that that's too much so scale z 0.5 good and basically that's it we're good to go right now so let's uh, work on this shape as we did previously i'm gonna be creating that inset that first inset so let's bring this one down a little bit hit e scale it down and let me hit e again to extrude down like this okay so the next thing is to add these details so i have i have an idea to do that so let's create i'm gonna put the cursor over here shift s cursor to select it oops shift s cursor to select it and i'm gonna start again with the cube i'm gonna scale it way down scale shift y and let's scale it way down like this let me go to the top view and i'm gonna be adding some array modifier so go to add modifier it's gonna be the array modifier let's uh, move it on the x-axis minus minus two minus 2.5 minus 2.5 is good Okay, so after that let's increase that count to something like 20 or even 25 let's make it 30 to cover everything like this and after that we can do this so we can uh, i would like first yeah actually we can proceed with this one like this looks good but i would like to make it look interesting so i'm gonna take this face bring it forward like this also let's go back over here and let's decrease that amount to something like this also let's take it way down over here let's see yeah, I'm going to proceed with this shape. So now I'm going to be using the boolean modifier to kind of build in this object over here inside our sewage. So let me also, I'm going to go to the top. Also, let's apply that array modifier. For this one, I'm going to take just that face. I'm going to take it up. Going to be bringing it, bringing it back later on. So make sure that you are not above this object. Don't go like this. So we need to make some room on the top. Oops, let's go back. There we go. So now with this object selected, let's add the boolean modifier, this one. And over here you can see that we can choose our object from this eyedropper. So click on it over here and let's select our object. After that, make sure that you are on difference. I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, so now we must see it. So let's take this one up. There we go. So now you can see that we can see our object on the top. Also over here we can do this on the side view. Hit Z, switch to the wireframe, and let's select all of these points. Let me switch to the vertex, box select using the B, and let's select all of these. And I'm gonna bring them down like this. Okay, so let's see our object. Yes, actually, what we need to do is to scale it on the Z axis to some value like this. After that, we can do this. We can add the bevel modifier to it. Also, let's check our scale it's not right so let's set it to, to one so control a and let's apply that scale nice over here i'm gonna increase these segments to let's say three and i think we're good yes all so now all we have to do is to go to object and shade smooth great so i'm gonna just delete this one and this is our second type we can definitely add some more details to it but i think that's that's enough 
for example, you can add this middle part. But I think this one is gonna do the job. Okay, so now let's work on our other type of sewage. This one on the right side, this kind of draining system. Okay, so let's work on it.